know it's been a hot minute since we've actually had any new Nintendo Switch 2 rumors, and this was a little bit of unexpected because we thought mass manufacturing might be happening last month and we would get more leaks and stuff and maybe that hasn't happened or it has but things are very tight behind the scenes right now and more so in a few months when manufacturing has been going on long enough and they start to expand it to more and more lines maybe that's when we will finally see more leaks coming out but what's interesting of course is that only that that stuff dried up but all the people that have been talking about the nintendo switch 2 be it necro felipe from nintendo universal or even nate the hate have sort of gone silent and maybe they were taking their cues from shintura furukawa who came out and shot down a couple of rumors himself and in doing so i think might have put some kiboshes on certain things that were happening. As an example, Stefan Dottillo publicly said he was working on a Nintendo Switch 2 report, and it still hasn't seen the light of day. Again, potentially they're just respecting the wishes of Nintendo's president for this stuff to sort of be kiboshed. But today we have some brand new rumors, and absolutely you need to be putting on your tinfoil hat and having the appropriate level of skepticism. In fact, I've got my tinfoil hat right here at the ready. We'll just throw it on for a brief moment because folks, I gotta show you who this rumor is coming from, and we actually have two different places that we need to talk about one a bit more reliable than the other but let's get into this first one here and it's coming from hot girl videos 69 now hot girls video 69 is someone we have covered in the past a few times over the years and most of the rumors that they throw out there end up finding some validity to them eventually so this is why we do pay attention but again skepticism 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 and i don't follow or pay attention to any of the other stuff this person tweets so we're just going to stick to the rumors and avoid the rest uh, but it says nintendo rumor next gen nintendo switch console at one point in its development utilized a cartridge slot on dock only with handheld mode being entirely digital mobile device controller support is built into the dock backbone style joy-con attachment dev and abandoned so what they're saying is these are all ideas that Nintendo is no longer using. And look, i glad they're not. I don't need a backbone-style controller. I also don't want the cartridge slot to be dock only. That would be super inconvenient. Uh, but there's more going on to this and something we can actually detail on a bit. So an additional Nintendo rumor says, It is believed information on the current next-gen Nintendo dev kits will likely leak before Valentine's Day. So more information from dev kits dropping before February 14th. Also supporting information from previous Bloomberg reports and rumor that Nintendo had worked on and perhaps now has a first party cloud gaming service. Rumor about Nintendo Cloud Gaming Service originally utilized a cloud gaming service developed by a Korean company, white labeled for use by Nintendo. Nintendo rumor dump is over. Have a good night. Now, this stuff, of course, is extremely fascinating because we're dealing with... How do we put this? We're dealing with rumors about something that I don't know that you guys are that interested in, a cloud gaming service. Personally, I do see value in cloud gaming services. And look, what Nintendo did on Switch and what these third-party companies did on Switch, that is not what we want to see. We've already seen Google Stadia do it better, although obviously ripped to that. And yes, Xbox does it better as well. Sony does it better too. They have a cloud gaming service in place to play their classic PlayStation 3 games. So these are three companies that Nintendo is sort of in competition with that all do it significantly better than Nintendo Switch did. And Switch arguably is the one that needed it the most and didn't have a good service for it. There were a few exceptions, like Resident Evil Village actually ran okay through the service, but that's probably more a credit to Capcom than Nintendo because Capcom was running their own service for it. I do see a value, and I this is the one thing I want to throw out there for those that are like, oh, I never, I'm never going to cloud game, always play local demos. So one thing I do on Xbox a lot is I try games through the cloud gaming service, and then if I'm enjoying them, then I'll know I want to pick it up and play it. I know the cloud gaming service isn't going to give you a one-to-one -one experience with just downloading and or installing a physical game, but it at least doesn't have to take up a ton of space on my system, super long download times, all of that, just to try it out. And that's one thing I do see as video game sizes keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, that cloud gaming services can really help all gamers with. Give us a taste before we buy. 
Does this mean you need to do a limited demo? I don't know. A time demo, maybe it's the complete game, but they only let you play it for like an hour or something. Cool. That's still a demo. We still get to try it out. And maybe if the save, heck, heck, make the save data transfer locally, and then you could just keep playing it if you buy the game. I do find some inherent value in that. And I think that is something I hope Nintendo, well, I don't think it's something. I just hope Nintendo explores it. Now, I know some of you guys are tired of me calling this damn thing the Nintendo Switch 2. I hear you guys. Look, get over it. It just means the next generation Nintendo system. It just so happens all the rumors and reports seem to suggest it's still a Switch-like device. So that's what we're going with. Maybe we prefer Super Switch or something, but we're, we're sticking with Switch 2. That being said, we're not done talking because Necro Felipe, remember I just brought him up earlier, hasn't been talking. Well, he said something I think is worth paying attention to, even though I wouldn't call this a rumor. It's more of a prediction. This was over on Twitter, where Neko Felipe from Nintendo Universal, uh, we have this translator from Portuguese, said, my personal expectations. So, again, this would be like a prediction, but it's what he's actually expecting is for the announcement of Nintendo's next system by March of 2024. So, I take that to mean by the time March 1st rolls around, it should already be revealed. So, January or February, of course. I'm not really sure how mannerisms work in Portuguese. Maybe by March of 2024 means by the end of March 2024. In English, that's not really how that would be representative. But, hey, this is a translation. So, we've got to consider both possibilities. And then, so, with an investor meeting taking place in the first week of May, the company would start its 2024-2025 fiscal year very well by introducing the successor to Switch. And then you see the big 2024 graphic. Now, I've been saying for quite some time that I think this makes a ton of sense because, well, I think Nintendo's holding back. This is just a personal opinion that we'll see either verified or not pretty soon. But if you look at Nintendo's 2024 lineup, only one brand new game is on slate, and that is Princess Peach Showtime, which most of us don't look at as this big game that people are going to get super exciting for. It feels like more of a content filler game. Now, some of you will go, no, I'm really actually looking forward to, you know, Thousand Year Door. I'm really looking forward to the Ouija's match into HD. And that's fine. And those sort of HD remasters of those games are exciting in that of themselves, but they're not new. And for longtime Nintendo fans, they're not really what we're going to get excited for. Like heading into 2023, we already knew about Tears of the Kingdom. We already knew about Fire Emblem Engage as well. So we had two semi-big games to look forward to, in addition to a smaller title like Princess Beach Showtime in Bayonetta Origins. We also eventually heard about that Kirby game as well that they ended up releasing Return to Dreamland Deluxe. So, look, I am really excited for what Nintendo has cooking. It's just there isn't anything known to be excited for, unless you want to keep talking about Metroid Prime 4 announced back in 2017, which we haven't seen or heard any public hints from Nintendo about. So, I am just going to sit back and wait and see what happens, but it seems to be the expectation, even from insiders who have had knowledge in the past, is that this thing's being revealed in the first three months of next year. Released, I don't know. Revealed, it does seem to be like that is slowly becoming the expectation, and I'm really, really excited for that because with such a weak slate of games right now, it would make sense for them to like have this blowout and that's when they start to drop all the games. You have a February or a March Direct, depending on when they time it. We've got Pokemon Day coming up with probably brand new Pokemon games. We're about to get slammed with a bunch of Nintendo stuff, I think, in the first three months of 2024, including Switch 2. I've already put out there my personal prediction that maybe Zuby Tech was correct. Again, though, we hype irresponsibly around here, so take that for what you will. January reveal event. I know, I know, I know, I know. I don't have any insider knowledge on this. It's just a rumor from someone who's actually a PlayStation guy combined with just hopium. We got to have hopium around here, and when it doesn't happen, we'll have hopium for February and then March and then whatever until Nintendo finally gives it to us. For the rest of you that think this system's not coming out till 2025 or 6 or 7, kudos to you. Uh, we'll see who's right. I'm betting 2024 at least. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am Nathaniel RoboJads from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and all that jazz, especially if you're looking for all of the latest and greatest, whether it's rumors or once we get real information from Nintendo, actual news on Nintendo's next generation platform. Catch you guys in the next video.